All right, guys. Well, we showed up to the canal. We knew this day would come. I've been fishing out here quite a while. But today, they started draining the canal. So, that means this is probably it for trying for pickerel. I'm gonna give it a shot today. I'm actually gonna put my glasses on because we got some sunshine today. I can try and see down in that water. But yeah, it's uh, very shallow, very shallow. And uh, I've got a Kitek with a jig head, real simple. I'm hoping there's still some pickerel down in here, but the water is extremely murky. And as you can see, you can actually see the bottom here. So I don't know what to expect. I am seeing some weird activity over here. It looks like maybe it's deeper right there. Um, hopefully there's still some fish in here. It's looking gross, muddy, and uh, yeah, I don't even know. So we'll try here for a while, and if, if it's not working out, I might consider um, trying a few spots today. And I'm thinking all the pickerel on this end are probably through. So let's look on the other side of this culvert and see what's happening down here. That's exciting. This might be worthwhile. Can I get down here? Can I get back up? I think I'm going to try. I think if I take this very slowly, I can get down here. I'm not in a hurry. There's no sign saying I can't fish here. So why not? Look at this. It's not big to be living out here. I definitely uh, want to give it a whirl. This is awesome. Let's see if I can cast out here even. Loving the depth. There's a ton of depth. Looks like I can get a little more width out of it. That's not going to happen. I'm going to get stuck. So I'm going to have to work it on this left side. But what a cool view, huh? What a cool view. See what I can do. Yeah, I'm gonna get stuck up here. So the casting isn't ideal. I could step down into the water and cast out this way. Or I could just do these quick, quick moves along the bank here. I hope there's something hiding in the tree over here. And I could probably get it out of here too. I want to be careful out here. But what a cool spot. I've never fished down here before. It's always overgrown with weeds. It's kind of tough to get down in here. I could step down a cut and probably get some casts. A lot of pressure coming in here. If nothing else, it's just cool to fish here. So we just left it here. Got to be careful of the trees overhead. Thinking if I could step down on that water, I might have a clear cast. I might do that. Oh, 
I got one. I got one. I got one. What do I got? Oh my gosh, what is it? What is it? Nice. All right. So, I got a smallmouth, guys. Winter smallmouth. Love it. Love it. Oh yeah, there's no, there's no way he's coming out. This is a nice fish. Really nice. And he's hooked like crazy. Oh man. What a hook set. There we go. All right, guys. Well, that isn't even like a bad smallmouth. That is golden. That's a nice, nice fish. This is the latest in the year I've ever caught a smallmouth in this stretch of the Hudson. It is a really, really nice fish. And uh, yeah, we caught it next to this awesome little spot. I love it. You can't go wrong with this. Oh, it looks like he swallowed something there. Oh, he's got like something in his butt. I wonder if I can pull that out for him. Looks like he's about to poop it. Yeah, let me see if I can help this guy. I'll be quick, dude. I'll be quick. Fully embedded, so I'm not gonna kill you for that, but let's get a good release on you. All right, bud. See you later. There he goes. Yeah, I didn't want to hurt him there. I started to plug on it for a second, and uh, he swallowed that thing. And he's trying to digest it and push it out, which hopefully it will. But that was a great catch. I don't know the last time I caught a smallmouth, but that was a nice one. And... Uh, this is going to be a nice winter go-to when uh, I can get down here. A little rock or a stick over here. Let's see if I can get a cast. Looks like I can. Just have to be careful. Another hit right here in the current. So I'm just gonna have to, it's a little treacherous down here. Wish I could bushwhack this a little bit. But uh, yeah, right up close here. So, loving this fill in pipe, this is awesome. I'm gonna try it just right at this again. I'm just gonna bring it in slow. here the other day I used a swim bait this time I'm gonna use this mr. twister here looks like it'll do the job I think it will we'll see how it swims in the water but uh yeah we have been fishing this canal all year and it's been a lot of fun but the canal is now drained so if there's anything in here at all it's stuck I'm looking down in there now and there's definitely some fish swimming around real small one just now but uh yeah we're gonna walk down to where they drain this out and hope that there's still a lot of water spilling out that was sort of the case the other day it may not be the case today because most it looks like most of the water is done although i still see some water going out it might be a little less flow but i did catch a smallmouth which is very unexpected for uh 
late November. But I caught a smallmouth here using a swim bait. I'm gonna try a different bait with a little more color today. It's a little more drab outside, not as sunny. It looks like there's still some water spilling out down there, which is great. Not much, but still some water there. Okay, so we barely got a flow and we've got this, some choppy stuff going on down here. Um, I don't know that it's gonna be the situation that it was last time I fished here. We're just gonna kinda do a quick glance for uh, critters, make sure there's nothing weird down here. Looks like it's all right. And we're just gonna inch our way down. And uh, yeah, hopefully I can get into something. Trying this Mr. Twister out. Here we are. Looking around through here. Looks mostly safe down here. Slow flow of water here. Doesn't mean there's not something here. There may be. We're certainly gonna find out. In addition to this, if we don't catch anything here, or if we do catch any catch something, I think I'm gonna try and uh, walk down the canal a little bit and see if there's any pools where fish might be trapped, where we can save them or something. I don't think there's gonna be a whole lot of anything trapped though, to be honest. We don't have, we have like less than half of the water flow we had the last time we were here. So I don't know that we're gonna have the same luck in catching a small mouth, but we're gonna try. I'm also using this Mr. Twister, which I usually don't use, but uh, I think it might work in here. Let's see how this thing's looking in the water. Yeah, it's fine. That'll work. Am I stuck? Looks like I'm stuck. Let's see if this will push it out. Forgot there was a log or something right here. Up. Yep. So last time I was here, it took me about 20 minutes or so to to get into that smallmouth. So it might take me some time again to. Or maybe not. Do I have something? I sure do. Nice. Nice. All right. Small mouth number one. Look at that. He's a dirty boy too. Look at that. All right. Right up close here. And uh, yeah, hooked well. Looked very well. But look at that fish on the Mr. Twister. Look at that boy. He is cold in this water. But this is a nice fish. I've only been here a few minutes. It's got some weird spots and stuff on him, but he's pretty cool. All right. That was much faster than the last time and right ahead of me here. So. We're gonna just give them a quick release. Let's look at them one more time. It's a cool fish. Quick release. We'll see you, bud. 
All right. That was awesome. Only thing I don't really like about these curly tails is that I'm just gonna pull it up a little bit and see if that helps. Turn this over to it. Let's try it like that. Let's see how this goes. Got them. Let's see. Oh, it's a perch. So cool. Multi species. What is up? All right. Nice perch. All right, bud. Hold on. All right. Let's see if I can. It's not often I get a perch that I can actually hold by the mouth. That was awesome. That's a nice perch. Look at that. Really nice fish. Got great colors on the bottom. Killer. I appreciate you, bud. Get a nice release on you. But yeah, the perch I can grab from the mouth, not common. Let's see if I can give you a nice release. See ya. That was awesome. Very awesome. The water's not as cold as I thought it would be. Who's, who knew this would be a multi-species day? like I am breaking off a second time. That stinks. So I lost two hooks today. But you know what? We caught two awesome fish. This has been a great place to fish. I'm sure this water is not going to be flowing next time. I am super thankful for the fish today. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you guys soon. Bye.